Assalamu alaikum everybody. Welcome to my updated, updated skincare routine. This is the third video I've done on skincare and so I'm really sorry about that. But you know what? My skincare routine is obviously changing and I have some really great updates for you. All right, so what happened about a year ago is really during the time when I was moving from Dubai to the US is I really suffered with acne. I've never had that problem before and honestly, when I look back at other skincare videos of me being like, well, I just have great skin, I wanna kill myself. Because God was basically like, do you? And just threw this huge trial at me which was really difficult to, to deal with. And I know there are some of you who are like, whatever Melanie, you have flawless skin, you need to just shut up and sit down. Well, let me tell you, I don't have flawless skin and honestly, it was so bad, like it was all in my cheek area and there were weeks, weeks where I didn't go out the house, I didn't show myself on social media. It was really bad. So it was really this catalyst that honestly led me to completely revamp my skincare routine and other things as well. So there are different supplements that I started taking for my acne that did help, which I may talk about in a later video, but this is just about skincare. So what I did was I looked at the products that I was using and took out anything that was unnecessary or maybe causing more of an issue. And I also put things into my regimen that would help with my, my problem. So what I was doing was a friend of mine turned me on to beautypedia.com. A lot of you may be familiar with this, but basically it's just a website that rates different skincare products based on their ingredients. And in going through a lot of the reviews, I really started to notice a pattern and things that I learned. So really quickly, I'm gonna tell you about those things that I learned and then I'm gonna get into what I use right now. Lesson number one, you do not wanna use anything with fragrance in it. So fragrance can actually aggravate your skin and it can cause inflammation in your skin and, can, and it can actually lead to the disintegration of collagen rather than building and boosting your collagen. Uh, this is something that I did not realize and I was spending hundreds of dollars on skincare from like Chanel and all these really expensive places that add a ton of fragrance in there that could actually be doing more damage to my skin than good. So that was the first lesson. Don't use anything with fragrance and if you do have products you absolutely love that have fragrance in them, make sure that the fragrance is like the last thing on the ingredients list. If it's somewhere in the beginning or towards the middle, that's way too much fragrance and you shouldn't be using that product. Lesson number two that I learned, do not use any skincare products that have the bad kinds of alcohol. So there are two types of alcohol, the good kind and the bad kind for your skin. The good kind is, acts as an emollient, it actually is a moisturizer and there are a lot of different types of good alcohols that you will find in skincare products. On the other hand, there are bad types of alcohol and these are alcohols that dry your skin out and really wreak havoc on your skin. They're terrible for your skin. I will leave below a list of the good and bad alcohols so you can go and cross-reference the skincare products that you use so you can make sure you don't have any of those bad alcohols in any of your skincare products. I got rid of a ton of stuff because it had that bad alcohol and so I don't use it anymore. Lesson number three that I learned. Only use skincare products available in pumps. Don't use anything in open jars. And the reason for that is when you have a jar or a tub of something, every time you open that lid, you are exposing your cream to oxygen, which is decreasing the efficacy of the active ingredients within your skincare product. In addition to that, every time you put your finger in there to get out the, you know, what you need, you are potentially contaminating that product with bacteria. So you have, that's another thing you have to be really careful about. So in general, I also stopped using anything that came in a tub, and that includes eye cream, which leads me to lesson number four. You really don't need eye cream. This was such a revelation because I was spending so much money on eye creams, a morning eye cream, a night eye cream, the most expensive meant it must be good. And really, I, I learned that you really don't need an eye cream. If anything, the eye creams out there don't have SPF. And I actually went through a whole procedure in Dubai where I got these like little tiny brown spots around my eyes removed and it was not a fun procedure. But I got those brown spots because that's the only place on my face that I don't apply SPF in the morning because I'm using an eye cream in that area that doesn't have SPF in it. So 
I ditched the eye cream and I started using my regular AM moisturizer that has SPF underneath my eyes and I've been fine. I've also replaced my night eye cream with whatever night cream that I'm using for my under eyes. I haven't noticed a difference in my under eyes so far. I doubt I'll ever go back to using an eye cream, but those eye creams pack a lot of claims that tell you that they'll remove your under eye circles and the fine lines will be removed. They'll remove your under eye bags. Honestly, I've yet to use an eye cream that can actually do any of those things. So lesson number four, you really don't need an eye cream. I know you are thinking, what is she talking about? I've seen her other videos. I've seen other videos. I've read the articles. Everyone needs an eye cream. Trust me, just try it. Go without your eye cream for a week, two weeks. Use your AM PM moisturizer underneath your eyes and you tell me how you feel about it. Now the fifth and final revelation I learned was not to use a harsh exfoliator. And I mean, scrubs, I used to do the sugar and olive oil scrub, I used to use any number of microdermabrasion kits at home, and those things can actually, again, do a lot of harm for your skin. By breaking down that first layer of your skin that actually acts as a protectant for the outside world and for the environment so that the free radicals don't get into your skin, that outer layer can really get broken down from those harsh scrubs. So what I incorporated into my regimen instead of those scrubs are an AHA BHA, and that stands for alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acid. Now the beta hydroxy you're gonna wanna use if you have more acne prone skin because that has salicylic acid in it, and the AHA you wanna use if you just have normal skin and you don't have any issues because it doesn't have salicylic acid in it. All right, so like I said, I've really simplified my routine and I only use a handful of products now. I still use my good old Cetaphil. Make sure you're using the daily facial cleanser. I use it AM and PM, twice at night, if I'm wearing makeup that day, and once in the morning. Best product, I'll never replace my cleanser. All right, now for toner. I played around with different toners, but at the end of the day, I went back to the Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. It's just, it does the job, it's not fancy, and you don't need your toner to be fancy. Now, those are my two staples, morning and PM. I start with my cleanser, and then I tone. The next step is I use a serum, and then I use my moisturizer, and that's it. So in the morning, the serum that I use is a vitamin C. I actually ran out of the full size. I have the mini size, but it basically looks just like this, except it's orange instead of pink. And the vitamin C serum that I use is Drunk Elephant. It's called the C Firma Day Serum. I have tried the Alginus Vitamin C Serum, which I also like, but it is pretty expensive. It's like $120. This is not cheap either. I think this is like $70 to $80. It is not cheap, but it is a really good vitamin C serum. And then I use my CeraVe, yes. CeraVe, you guys. I'm using drugstore like $6.99 CeraVe. Uh, you all know me, I was using Chanel, I was using Caudalie, I was using so many different brands. When my face did break out, I was like, I need to go back to basics, let me go back to just like, just the active ingredients and nothing else. No crazy claims, but a basic product that has the zinc oxide and the niacinamide that I need and I'll be good to go. And when I looked at all the reviews, this really was the best one. And of course it has SPF because I don't use a separate SPF. I make sure that my moisturizer has SPF built in. And it's got all those active ingredients you want to build collagen and to protect that outer layer of your skin. That's really the name of the game. And I also use this underneath my eyes. So this is really my eye cream as well as my AM moisturizer. Now, that covers daytime. So at night, again, same cleanser, same toner. Now, for the serum, what I use is a BHA. And this, again, is Drunk Elephant. And it is their Frambus Glycolic Night Serum, which is basically a BHA. And what a BHA does is it's a natural exfoliant. Rather than using those really harsh scrubs, I use this natural exfoliant, which is made out of glycolic acid, which is fruit-based, that naturally exfoliates your skin. And I promise you, when you put this on at night and you wake up the next morning, your skin is so smooth and you become addicted to it. And when your skin doesn't feel that way, you're like, what is going on? Because I don't use it every day. It's, it is expensive, so I don't use it every single day. Otherwise, it would run out like in a month. 
So this is the serum that I use after my toner. I put it all over my face, a nice thin layer, and then my night moisturizer, which again, CeraVe. But instead, this is the PM. It's basically the same formula, except it doesn't have SPF. It's super basic, no fragrances, no bad alcohols, nothing in there that you don't need, and everything in there that you do need. That's really it. Super basic, right? I think that this is the shortest skincare video routine I've ever done because I've stripped down to the basics. So far, so good. It's actually been really great and I hope that my skin will continue to get better and go back to normal pre any of this crazy acne flare up. Honestly, when I look at those videos where I'm like, so I basically just have like perfect skin, like I wanna kill myself. Why am I so annoying? Who do I think I am? Somebody hit me. <laughs> Next time I talk like that, one of y'all please be like, Mel Dog, you need to calm down. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below how you felt. Any questions, anything else you guys like, wanna see, let me know. As always, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I love hearing from you guys. Until next time, take care. Assalamu alaikum.